In today's lunch break, we're making the signature straight A salad from a neighborhood favorite, Beatrix. Partner and Beatrix corporate chef, Andrew Ashmore, joins us with the recipe. And today I have literally rolled up my sleeves to be able to help you make this salad. Awesome. I don't know if our viewers were watching in the last hour, but I almost set myself on fire with this <laughs> with this shirt. So here we go. I love the salad selection at Beatrix, and I you know, have a really difficult time choosing between right. them. But straight A, you think to yourself, oh, that's a smart choice. You feel mm -hmm. like a smart person yeah. when you get a straight A salad. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds healthy, right? Right. Yeah, but I know you were doing it because of the arugula and the Asian pear Absolutely. and things like that. Yeah. Yes. Um, so let's get started and, yeah. and start working on it and then talk a little more about the locations and, and some of the great things on the menu. Perfect. So we're going to start by making the dressing. It's a white balsamic dressing. Mm -hmm. um, so a little different than that darker, you know, uh, regular balsamic that you might usually use. Right. Um, so if you want, can you help me? Sure. Just start here. We're going to pour the balsamic in the bowl. And then I love with a vinaigrette, I love to balance it with some fresh citrus. So we have some fresh lemon juice as well. Ooh, Squeeze nice. that in house. All right. Yep. And then some salt, kosher salt, mm -hmm. and a little bit of sugar just to balance all those. A combination of both flavors. already. Yep. And then I'm going to start whisking to dissolve all that. And you can just pour that oil. And this is an extra virgin olive oil? Yes, absolutely. So we're just going to whisk. You know, this is what I call like a broken vinaigrette. So you always have to whisk it before you use it. It and will, always will separate. it then, it will, it'll continue yep. to separate, yep. right? So you mix it right before you serve it as exactly. well, before you pour it over. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you might just get a bunch of oil or too much vinegar. Right. Right. So it's really important to give it a good but stir. But if you make so this it. at home, how long can you keep it in the refrigerator? Honestly, a, a couple weeks will be fine. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. But the fresher, the better, right? So it's worth it. You know, yeah. you, you do the work once, and then you could do all kinds of different yeah. salads. Put it in a mason jar, shake it up, pour it over the top. Excellent. That's it. All right. So next, what we're going to do is we have some of our arugula here. That's my favorite lettuce for a salad. Yeah. That sort of peppery flavor to yep. it, I think, is it just really kicks it up. Yep. And I'm actually going to just grab this bowl right here. So sorry. Mm-hmm. And if I you mix could, it all up. Yeah, right? So we have some fresh, beautiful, fresh arugula. And the next A in the lineup, Asiago cheese. Mm. Aged has a nice kind of... Uh, Nice tang to it. Right, also a bold yep. flavor, exactly. right? That's yep. what's so great about this. It seems like it's it's so simple, yet it has a lot of wonderful Absolutely. flavors. Toasted almonds. Now this is kind of the secret ingredient. It's not an A, but it has an A in it. Some fresh basil. Basil. So we you just have to just, fresh just herb, right? say it like that. Basil. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> and then this is the Asian pear. So kind of a cross between uh, apple mm -hmm. and a pear, right? right? So crunchy, juicy, nice and sweet. And, and you let the fresh... skin on that. Yes, I do. All right. I like the texture. Otherwise, um, it tends to get soft. Oh, interesting. All right. So we like it to kind of stick. They say the skin together. has a lot of nutrients in it as yeah. well. I just tend to peel all the time. And then we have basically about a half fresh avocado. Mm -hmm. That creaminess adds a nice texture into yes. the salad. And then we're just going to take a little bit of that vinaigrette, give it a good stir. But see how it, it held together, right? So it did hold together pretty well. for now. Just drizzle a little bit over the top. If you like cracked black pepper. Oh. I love a little bit of that too. That's that. And then we just toss it all together. Nice more and, and more I've seen chefs do this. It's like you're better with your hands than with any other tool, yeah. right? As yep. long as you've got the gloves, use yeah. your hands, get in there. Yeah, the tongs just kind of crush the lettuce. Right. So you want to be gentle, kind of massage it a little bit. Just get that dressing on there. And then we like to pile everything high on the plate. You know, you and I know your servings are very generous. Yeah, I mean, that, yeah. that's a huge meal. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you can add chicken or some roasted salmon to it. Yes. Grilled steak or maybe not this salad, but other salads, we, people just add a avocado. And we, so we just put a beautiful, you know, half of a fanned avocado on the top of their salad. So I know you've got several locations. For people who mm -hmm. have not been, tell them a little bit about Beatrice. Because yeah. I, I just love this space, you know, especially, the, you know, one in Streeterville over by Northwestern. Mm -hmm. If you have doctor's appointment, you know, you go, you've got beautiful dishes, yes. great little coffee bar. Mm -hmm. It's just such a nice space. Yeah, we have the coffee bar, uh, pastries that we make in-house daily, um, breakfast, lunch, brunch, dinner. So we're, we're there all the time. We have five locations now, one out in the suburbs in Oak Brook, in Oak Brook Center. Um, and then the rest are kind of all around downtown. Yeah, uh, scattered Fulton in the Market, city. Fulton Market, Streeterville, Loop, um, and our original location in um, River North. 
Right. Well, it's just wonderful. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Because it's like, like I said, uh, I can never decide when I go a, what you know, to do. I am a little bit moody, so it's really it depends on my mood. What do I want oh, today? Okay. Right? But today I was all about the the ginger uh, kale salad. Oh, that's yeah. what I got what last I time morning. I was there. I yeah. loved it. Yeah. And then what about for more hearty other than a salad? What's you your know, favorite? You know, I, I love the chicken enchiladas. I think they're fantastic. Okay. Um, and we have a really good uh, steak on the menu. Um, it comes with some loaded smashed potatoes on the mm. side, mushroom bordelais sauce. Uh, it has a pepper crust over the strip steak. Oh, yeah. that sounds wonderful. Yeah, All right, the enchilada is the next thing on my uh, on my list. Perfect. Thank you so much my for pleasure. being here. So you can check out the Beatrix locations nearest you by visiting BeatrixRestaurants.com. We'll have the recipe that we made today, just a delicious, perfect tasting salad and very filling as well. WGNTV.com slash midday.